Library again today, and I have a story for all of you dinosaur lovers out there. And I know that there's more than just a few of you. I'm a dinosaur lover, too. So we will pull this book that is much loved in the library, and it's called When Dinosaurs Came With Everything. And it's written by Elise Broach, and it's illustrated by David Small. Hmm. I'll open it up. You'll see that this book actually is actually published by Anthem Books for Young Readers. And so we will thank them for allowing us to read it virtually. I think I maybe did I I might have heard a couple of thank yous from you. Yes. Some of you. Good job. Open it up. Hmm. Right. Friday is errand day, and my mom goes on boring errands, and I have to go with her. I'm very excited. <laughs> and this Friday seemed like every other Friday until we got to the bakery. A sign above the donuts read a pair, buy a dozen, and get a dinosaur? I couldn't believe it, and neither could my mom. They must need a toy, she said. But when I took the box of dinosaurs, oh, donuts, um, the lady behind the counter said, hold on, little guy, don't forget your dinosaur. And there he was. Mom, I yelled. It was a triceratops. What? cried my mom. <laughs> she did not look happy. How are we supposed to get that home? The bakery lady smiled. Oh, don't worry. He'll follow you. They always do. And he did all the way to the doctor's office where I had to go for a checkup. My mom shook her head. What are we going to do with him now? She looked him up and down and that took a while. We can't bring him inside, she said finally. He'll have to stay in the parking lot. I told him not to talk to strangers. After my checkup, I asked for a sticker like usual. No stickers today, said the nurse. Just dinosaurs. With the shot, you get two. Ha ha ha! I want a shot! <laughs> the nurse smiled. Not today, buddy. But you can pick up your dinosaur at the front desk. Mom, I yelled! There, at the front desk, was a stegosaurus. What on earth is going on, my mom cried. It's a special day, the nurse exclaimed. Today, dinosaurs come with, with everything. Yes, I said. Not only yes, but yes. No, my mom groaned. We walked down the street and my triceratops and my stegosaurus walked right behind us. Fud, fud, fud. They made friends right away. And across the street, other kids had dinosaurs too. I saw an ankylosaur, a duckbill, and a velociraptor. And we all waved at each other. Our mothers glared and kept on walking. <laughs> oh, they look happy, don't they? <laughs> I think we better go home right now, my mom said. But, but what about my haircut? The barber's waiting for me. My mom looked at the dinosaur. Then she looked at my bangs. The barber always gives you a balloon, doesn't he? A nice balloon. Uh-huh, I said. I didn't want a balloon. I wanted a, a parasaur. And at the barbershop, 
I gave my Triceratops and my Stegosaurus donuts for a snack. And they waited outside and they watched through the glass. The barber pumped the chair up and down. He cut my hair too short, but I didn't mind because then he patted my head and said, Wait here, sport. He was gone for a long time. My, ma my mom tapped her foot. I don't like this, she said. Where exactly do they keep the balloons? And just then, the barber came back with something flying over his head. It wasn't a balloon. Mom, I yelled. It was a pterosaur. This is too much, my mom protested. Now listen, she said to the barber. I think a balloon will do just fine today. Don't you have any balloons? Sorry, lady, no balloons. You get one of these instead. <laughs> It was like that everywhere we went. At the shoe store, the sign read, buy two pair, get dinosaur free. My mom decided my shoes would last a while longer. And at the theater, we could hear the popcorn man shouting, butter, no butter, you want a dinosaur with that? And my mom said, we'd go to the movies another day. At the diner, I wanted to stop for a hamburger. But then a girl walked out with a trice <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex. Maybe you can see that little Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at how big that Tyrannosaurus is. Huge. She's so tiny compared to it. Okay, that's it, my mom cried. We are definitely not having lunch there. She looked at my Triceratops, my Stegosaurus, and my Tyrosaur. Tyrosaur. What are we supposed to do with all of these dinosaurs? We don't have room for them. We can't take care of them. I hugged her leg. Don't worry, Mom. They can live in the backyard. My mom shook her head. Sweetheart, they're not toys. Dinosaurs are a lot of work. But mom, look, they eat everything. And they sleep outside and I'll do everything. I promise, please, mom, please, please. And my mom sighed. Well, I suppose we can't just leave them here. Thank heavens, we didn't stop at the diner. Whew. We hurried home. And my dinosaurs hurried after us. Thud, thud, thud. Flup, flup, flup. When we were almost there, we saw a little duckbill dinosaur standing alone on the street corner. He looked lost. Mom, that's a baby hadrosaur. He's all by himself. Sweetie, we've already got our hands full. The hadrosaur followed us. Well, it wasn't my fault. And when we got home, my mother needed to lie down, so I made lunch for the dinosaurs. <laughs> then I showed them where to go to the bathroom. And I told them to stay out of the neighbor's yard because of his mean dog. Doesn't look so mean to me. And I showed them my slide, my tire swing, and all the toys in the garage. They seemed to be having a fun, fun, but they really went wild when I took out my frisbee. The hadrosaur had the first throw, and the frisbee landed on the roof, and I saw my mom watching from the window. Is everything all right out there? She asked. Everything's fine, Mom. We can get it down. And my pterosaur flew up and plucked the frisbee out of the gutter. My mom kept watching. She looked at him for a long time. 
the next thing I knew, she had him cleaning the gutters. Then she came out of the backyard with a pile of wet clothes. These spikes come in handy, don't they? She said. Pretty soon my mom had thought of chores for all of my dinosaurs. But I knew they didn't mind. It just meant that they were part of the family. And when we were finished helping, my mom said I could invite my friends over. It was a bring your own dinosaur party. And guess what happened next? Wow. <laughs> oh, that looks like fun. I heard my mom on the phone to the bakery and she said, do you have donuts left? And that's when I knew everything would be just fine. And there she is now with all of those donuts for all of the dinosaurs. Wow, that would be a great day, wouldn't it? Look at that. <laughs> oh, I hope you like that story. I thought that was a good one. It's kind of a classic in the library if you like donors, dinosaurs or donuts or anything like that or don't like to go sometimes on errands when you have to. It's a good one. And so I hope you'll find us next week with another story or you'll come in the library and get some of your own books to read at home too or have someone read to you. Um, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>